Hey, Business Calculus students. We've got a word problem here. It's talking about a population, 12 million in 2005. And then note that it's talking about the rate. It's talking about how this population is growing. And the idea is that since you know the rate and you know what you started with, you should be able to figure out where we are in 2012. Now to do that, we want to take the rate and use that to find the total change. Let's be specific about our t values. It's going to be t equals 0 and t equals 7. Now why those values? Well, t equals 0 stands for 2005, where we're starting. And t equals 7, since we're measuring since 2005, is 2012, where we want to be. Good. OK, anytime you want to find a total change and you know a rate, you're going to be integrating. You're going to be integrating the rate. Our integral will be from 0 to 7. Those are our t values. And we're going to integrate that rate function. Now, in just a minute, I'll write down what the answer is. But before we do that, let's discuss the units for this integral. Note that that quantity, the integrand, is giving us million people per year. And dt, that's the units for time. Time is measured in years. So you can see that we're going to have something good happen here. We're going to have the years here cancel with the year there. And our answer will be in terms of million people. That's a good check that the integral is giving us exactly what we want total change in population. I plugged this into my calculator, and I got approximately 1.272, rounding at the thousandth place. And again, that's a million people. Now please note, that only gives me the total change. It tells me how much the population grew by between those two years. So now, if I want the population In 2012, that's going to be the starting population, 12 plus 1.272. So again, I've got two quantities here. That's my starting amount. And that's my total change that I got with the integral. And of course, you can add these together and get 13.272 million people. This is a good example of how we use an integral and how we interpret an integral. Again, it's always nice to look at the units to make sure that what you're doing actually makes sense. And then the idea being that the integral gives you the total change.